yeah so excuse the hair i've just got in from sketching outdoors on the shore somewhere over here um, way over there somewhere sketching the marina and um and the harbour walls so i've got a earache but i kind of made a bit of a uh, Mm, breakthrough when I was sketching and I'm just going to get the sketchbook out and I'll tell you all about it. So um, yesterday I was talking about how I don't like rep representational art um, and I think that's been affecting the way I go out and draw and sketchbook and interact with my surroundings as an artist but I was standing there drawing today um, and it just hit me. I'll just show you what I mean. Okay, so this is quite a posh sketchbook for me. It's actually watercolour paper. It was a bit pricey, so I've been really precious with it and I haven't really used it at all. So the first time I ever used the sketchbook, I was trying to do perfect sketches and practice my portraits. Um, yeah. So anyway, I... I I kind of like carried on and da 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 and then I painted over loads of it. So this was from the other day, just drawing out a window. Um, didn't get far, did some boats. Um, and then today I went out and there was a seagull sitting there. So I drew a seagull. There's the lighthouse. I drew the lighthouse. That's some underpainting that's come through. And yeah, it was all right. And then I thought I'll get all my paints out and I'll go and sit and do a proper painting. And this is how far I got. That's an old painting, ignore that. So, um, I wasn't getting on with it. I mean, it was windy. Um, it was really windy. It's always windy down there, of course it is. And then I just reverted to pencil and I started doing the skyline. Um, the, um, the, yeah, the skyline, is that what it is? Or the tree line? Um, and then I did another building. And I thought, you know what? I'm not interested in this. I'm not interested in the specific shapes. I'm interested in the whole thing as a shape and how the lines merge together and how they intersect. So I stopped doing that and I did this. And I know it looks rubbish to you, but to me, it's been a bit of a breakthrough because I've got some of the individual houses which are prominent on, um, I think it's the High Street. I think this is High Street. I, don't, I think it's the promenade, I'm not sure. Um, but the specifics are lost. And what I'm getting and what I'm really interested in is how all these lines interact, uh, intersect and work together. So this is the this is the harbour wall and this is the promenade and this is the church that's been uh, renovated. Um, and I was much happier with that than I was trying to get the particulars. So then I started concentrating on, um, by this time I was getting earaches, so I wasn't really um, into it, but um again the harbour wall the thing <clears throat> the thing i was interested in was the strata um it wasn't trying to get a, a picture of an actual harbour wall it was the strata the different textures and the different colors so i've taken some photographs um and again this is the harbour this is water and sand and gravel and it was just these different intersections of textures and color that i really really got into um, again, with this one, Harbour Wall, the steps, I love the steps, really into them steps. And once once upon a time, I'd have tried to paint this all as a neat little sketch, neat little picture. But it was kind of like a breakthrough when I realised I don't have to do that. And then I went over to the marina. And again, I love, I love the shapes of the boats. But what I'm really interested in was the masts. The masts have these wonderful these wonderful um, lines that just stretch right into the horizon. You can see them. Um, if you can see the harbour, that's all you can see. It's just these these upward strokes. And so I was going to try and create a whole uh, sketch of that. But I've taken a picture and I'm going to work on that in the studio now. Then I started working on some of the detailing, some of the things which um, you think you know. You think you know when you're doing a picture, but actually you might forget. But it's that was a bit of a breakthrough for me. So yeah, I'm going to go in the studio and I'm going to use some reference pictures which I took while I was out sketching and I'm going to try and um, come up with some sketches from my sketches and from the photos and try to um, 
like double down on what I'm finding interesting in these in these scenes and it's just been a bit of a like I don't have to I, I am not a camera and I know I'm not I'm no I'm not interested in representational work and I won't I won't paint a picture like that because it just doesn't interest me um but when I go out sketching I seem I go I revert back into oh, I must draw a picture postcard of this scene and it must be perfect in every way and people must look at my drawing when they come and say oh what are you doing oh my god you're amazing you're you are an artist and what they see is me just spaffing lines all over the um over, over the page but that's what I like so that has been a revelation today and um if you need a bit of a, an encouragement to get out and sketchbook or to get out and draw then this is your inspiration. This is your this is your wake up call to go out and find what it is in the landscape that you love and to do it. Because now I've found that, it's like I can't wait to get out now and do some more. Amazing. So I'm um, using my sketchbooks. I didn't use my photo references. Um, um, I think I'll start using photo references now. But this is what this is what memory and some sketchbook lines. That's my first initial sketch of a sketch. That's still a bit too representational for me. Um, I'm going to keep on working on it until I find something that excites me. It's all right. <laughs> 